guys and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while since I've been on here talking about anything but today I'm really excited about what I'm, I'll say reviewing but I haven't really figured out everything yet. Um, so there may be a part two to this video but as for right now it's just a part one. So let's get into it. So what I'm talking today is the Amazon Halo. I don't know if you've ever heard of it. It is Amazon's fitness band, so like a Fitbit or Garmin or anything like that. Um, but Amazon decided to make their own. And right now, you can't just flat out buy it. You have to um, be approved for early access. It took me about, I'd say, two months to get into early access. So it does take a little bit of time. Um, but this is the Halo. I just got it in, I think, Thursday or Friday. And I got the rose gold color. Let me hold it over my shirt. It might look better. I got the rose gold color and um, I just left the band that comes on it because I didn't know anything about it yet, really. Um, so I didn't get a sports band, but I do eventually want to get one. It's very, very lightweight. Like, when you put it on, you're kind of supposed to put a little bit past your wrist bone and then tighten it until it's snug and of course I put it on backwards <laughs> um, but I normally wore a Fitbit I wore the iconic which was actually pretty big and then before that I wore a um, Apple watch and you could really kind of tell that they were on your arm they'd move around they were kind of heavy this I forget that it's even on my arm it's really really lightweight it's really comfortable it doesn't have a screen so if you're moving around like your screen does it pop on all the time and you, re you just velcro it on till it gets a little snug and voila so of course with anything you get an app if you can see there it is um, you download the app and its main four targets are activity sleep tone and body scan and the one that I was definitely most interested in was the body scan because, you know, I go to the gym and I work out and I just have like a regular little cheap scale that doesn't tell me anything about my BMI, nothing like that. So I was really interested in that feature because I wanted to know like my BMI, what I would look like if I was at this BMI, all that fun stuff. Um, but we'll get to that in a minute. Um, they do activity, which is based on points for the week instead of like point like so you're supposed to get 10,000 steps a day you're supposed to get a certain amount of points a week um, it comes set at 150 points and of course I haven't really moved today <laughs> so don't make fun of me for that um, I have taken like 708 seven, yeah 718 steps so I haven't earned a point yet it's been a crazy morning um, <clears throat> but it focuses on points like I said 150 for the week, that's your goal. You can get it whenever you want, just as long as you get it during the week. Then it also does sleep. It tells you your sleep score. Oh, I'm clicking on stuff. Tells you your sleep score, how long you slept, which, as you can see, why I haven't really moved today. I slept four hours and 15 minutes. Um, it does your sleep score. It will eventually do your sleep temperature. It has to collect some data first. Mine hasn't gotten there yet because, like I said, I've only had it a few days. Um, it tells you how long you are in bed, how long it took you to fall asleep, REM sleep, light sleep, deep sleep, all that stuff. I really like the sleep thing because I sleep so strangely. So <laughs> I really like that. Next up is tone. And now I like the tone. I think it's neat. Um, but I turned it off because it sucks your battery like it zaps your battery I've had it for three days I've had to charge it every single day they say that with tone it'll last up to one to two days and without tone it'll last six to seven days we'll get to that in a minute and then last up like I said is body scan which is really cool you're only supposed to take it um, every two weeks so every two weeks it'll alert you and say hey do your scan girl and you'll go okay um what i like about it like i said is you can get down to your body changes and as you move it up and down which it's hard to see it'll show you 
like what your body would look like at that stage. So that's, I really like that. It's really cool. It's only been three days since I took my scan, so I've only had this for three days. Um, the battery life is short so far. Um, I turned my tone off last night, I think. So I'm going to see how long it lasts without tone on. Because I like it, I just don't want to have to charge it all the time. Um, but it kind of looks like I'm going to have to do that anyway. And it only takes about 90 minutes to charge. So that's really not that bad. Um, you can just do it while you're taking a shower. I mean, I know you don't take a 90 minute shower. But you can put some like while you're taking a shower. While you're sitting down watching TV. It'll charge really quickly. So that is good. Um, but like I went to bed on 100%. And I woke up on I think maybe 80 something percent. So or 70 or 80 percent. So it does seem to be like it won't last as long as it says but I guess we'll figure it out um, when you get the early access it does come with some labs you can do like I'm doing a let's see I'm doing a fall, fall asleep to a soothing, soothing bath sound um, I'm also doing closing the kitchen at a certain time so that means it'll tell you like hey don't be eating after this time and you're like okay girl and then um, it says, like the other one I'm doing is, did you go for a 10 minute or longer run today? So I've got those going, but there's a lot for like sleep, activity, nutritious, mindfulness, and tone. So it's really all about what you want to do. There is a heart rate tracker. So you can also check it live. Mine's at 82. So I got a pretty good heart rate. Um, and then you can do tone live too. But like I said, I don't have that set up anymore. Um... So yeah, it's pretty cool. It's very comfortable. It's good. I don't really have any cons besides the battery life um, so far. That's about the only thing. I'm also curious if I should just let it die completely and then charge it, you know, because sometimes they say to do that for some reason. So I'm kind of curious if I need to do that first, but I don't really know. Um, like I said, it's really comfortable, really lightweight. I def I even told my husband after I got mine in, I was like, oh, you should definitely try to get early access. Like I said, it took about two months, um, for them to approve me. So it does take a little bit. And when you get the early access, you do get it cheaper than you would get if you would just do like regular buyout, um, when it does come out. But most, for the most part, I like it. Um, I just wish the battery would last a little longer, but maybe they'll work out the kinks and I don't know. I don't like with an update or something. I don't really know. But it is comfortable. It's lightweight. <laughs> I love it. So if you're interested in it, I would definitely say check it out. Um, there is a lot of information on their website about it, so you can learn about that too. But I would say it's good for somebody who wants more than just steps. Because that's what I did. Um, and like I said, the body scan feature is one of my favorite features. So I'm really interested in that. But other than that, that's what I think about so far. I'll probably come back with a different review once I check out the battery life a little longer and see. But for now, that's all I got. So thanks for watching and I'll see you later.